And so I invite you all on this journey. And now let's please give a resounding, warm, acoustic harvest welcome oops, to the Lonesome Ace String Band. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out. Uh, Lillian, thank you for that beautiful introduction. That was, I hope we can live up to it. <laughs> I definitely uh, can. <laughs> you can. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're, uh, we're so happy to be here. This is our first uh, hometown gig as a band in two years. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Um, it's starting to feel back like the old days, isn't it? So we'll, we'll play you a John Harford song right now that uh, talks just about that, called Back in the Good Old Days. Uh, 2019, fall of 2019, I decided to pack up everything I owned and my wife and I pulled all our stuff across the country and uh, moved out to a tiny little town in uh, central BC and um, we uh, built a house from scratch, got two kittens, a dog and, um, and a baby. <laughs> Got is not the right word for having a baby. Um, did. We did, a, we did a baby. Be yeah. got. Yeah, we begot a baby, yes. And uh, anyway, it was, uh, it's been quite, um, quite a pandemic, I must say. Uh, um, kind of worked out well for me because I built a house out there, or we built a house, I should say. She really worked together quite hard on it. But uh, no, no one of the. House. There's no eye in house, you're right. Um, uh, and. Um, Shut up. One of the things, it's very distracting I know, for us. I know, I know. <laughs> One of the things uh, that, uh, you know, moving from Ontario, 
you don't quite realize you get out there and it's like there's uh, there's winter and there's fire season and um, it's a it's an eerie situation especially since they had a quite a big fire in 2017 there so you see all the standing dead and, uh, and it's like yeah that's close to home and anyway as, as the smoke is filling the air and there's the eeriness of it uh, is, is coming around this song kind of came out it's called I think it's called Praying for Rain. We haven't fully settled on a title yet. Praying for Rain, anyone? Show of hands. <laughs> forsaken me. If I ever see her face again, I'll have to swim across the sea. When my earthly trials are over, cast my body out in the sea. Save all the undertaker, built to let the mermaids flow with me.
just got back from a tour we were down for five nights sort of in the northeastern US and uh, and we uh, were trying out a bunch of new tunes uh, we're sort of getting ready to record another album this next year at some point once the once the songs and the tunes feel right and uh, I'm gonna be playing all of them for you tonight so I, either either that's exciting for you or, or you can go one way or the other <laughs> you can go one way or the other but uh, Anyway, here's a, here's a tune that I wrote, uh, you know, a few months after the pandemic started. I wrote this for a guy that I knew who had been um, doing the music for a long time, and he'd, he'd been on the road for most of, most of the time in the past 15 years or so. And, um, you know, he gets off the road and he finds that he's enjoying himself, uh, you know, at home. Uh, and uh, he sort of, sort, of, sort of starts to have to do some... some uh, personal accounting, you know, of, of what did it all mean, you know. Luckily, he's not very good at math, so he's back out on the road again. <laughs> uh, this is his song. It's called Simply Going Sideways. I'm 
Google search. You want to do that anyway? Uh, of course. Come on. Can you guys wait for a fiddle switch for a waltz? <laughs> Set your watches. It's time, John. Yeah, this one's gone out of tune. I better switch. <laughs> Anyone have another fiddle? He's so rich. <laughs> He's so rich. He has every time his fiddle goes out here, he just plays another one. I have folk music to thank for all my wealth. <laughs> Here's, a, uh, here's another new song. This, this is a song about uh, preaching to the choir and possibly being in the choir. It's called The Echo.
just what you needed Each day brought us something new But now the banks are overflowing And the water's running brown It's too deep to get across it there's no way to get around It all sounded so sweet in my ear Now it's all that I can hear that I can hear The echo sounded so sweet in my ear Now it's all that I can hear Hopefully this one will get you in the mood. Let's see.
tight ship on the river, 35 days on a ballerine boat, and I make a little money, get a swing tight check, and take off, skipping in the middle of the How's everybody doing? Good? This is sort of around the time we would often take a set break, but you know, we're gonna plow through here. Um, we're, we're good. We're, you guys are good, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally fine. Good. Just, good. just good. tuning the fiddle we're again. Good. We're good. Um, here's a song uh, a few years ago. I was sitting at my kitchen table over in the other side of Toronto, and it was early in the morning, and I had my cup of coffee and my banjo. I had a tune bubbling through my head, but I had no words, so I did what a lot of songwriters have tried to do, which is write a song about trying to write a song. <laughs> Not an original idea. Um, and and I, I only got through, it got me through one verse of the song, but then uh, it morphed into uh, something else, which was sort of a celebration of failure in general, and how it's part of the process. And, uh, you know, I ended up with a song which I'm about to sing to you, and it's called At My Kitchen Table. Sick and shameful upon the bathroom floor. He pours out all his liquor like so many times before. He makes himself a promise that this is finally it. You just never can stop quitting, no, you'll never get to quit. If trouble don't kill me, I'll live until I die. Devil sees you some
Uncle Dave Macon fans? Okay, then we're not gonna do this one. <laughs> song this is the sound of a hippie's midlife crisis <laughs>
to do in the in the summer uh, when, I, when I can sort of carve out a day to do it is to take a big piece of meat and smoke it slowly on a barbecue for about 12 hours. Anybody else share this obsession? Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's one of the best ways to get out of household chores or anything else. Like, I'm cooking dinner, but you've been cooking it since seven this morning. I know. No, it's great. Um, and I... So I'm, the reason I'm telling you this is because uh, I, I had this tune that I'd, that I'd written, and I called it uh, Smoke on the Shoulder. I think I wrote it like in the summer. I was like, hey, you know, barbecue, smoke on the shoulder. And anyway, I, I was thinking, well, what if I turned it into a song? And I kind of wanted to do that. I was like, what am I going to write about? And then it occurred to me, what if I just make a recipe for cooking smoked pork shoulder? And so I came up with this. And uh, here's the recipe. Oh yeah, all right. I got me an eight pound pork shoulder today. A cheap cut of meat will smoke best, is what they say. The rub overnight it in the fridge. You could leave it on the counter too. I can't wait to get a little slow smoking in my barbecue.
John will be selling recipe cards for uh, $12. So, anyone ever uh, get into an argument with their own parent? <laughs> it's okay, you're in church, it's fine. Uh, we, um, yeah, by we I mean I, uh, had that happen to me a few years ago. And uh, I went home and I was still kind of stewing and I uh, wrote this song down and then when we were looking for songs for this this uh, upcoming record, this one sort of came to mind, and it's really, um, in the process of writing the song, I, I just started kind of ruminating on how much we, me, me and my uh, parent were alike, and uh, that was definitely a big part of the problem, and then I kind of, you know, you do that thing where you zoom out, and I'm like, you know what, this could actually uh, sort of be a good message for all of society, and uh, it's a little something we call Country Mile. I sat in judgment with stones in my hair Kept my anger simmering like fat back in the pan But there's always a chance to back up off your stance Put an end to my one-man trial Take your breath and walk a country mile out there? Okay. Um, any, any, none, none that will admit it. Okay, well, maybe uh, this next song will change that. This is an old George Jones number called Too Much Water Run Under the Bridge. Hello. 
country music, you know that a lot of these old songs just had one verse. Okay. I'm just going to sing it again. Well, I've been thinking about you all night long, what you've been doing to me. You told me that you loved me, I thought that you loved me, but you never was true to me. Say you're getting tired of all your running around, you wanted me to settle down. supportive uh, presence she's been like like Lillian she's sort of been there I don't know we've probably known each other for about 30 years through the bluegrass community um, and uh, well we'd like to wish you a very happy birthday and how about not just wishing her a happy birthday why the hell don't we sing her a happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you That was a lot. That was a lot better than your average happy birthday. There's a lot of good singers in this room tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, here's a here's one of the old classic uh, outlaw ballads called Wild Bill Jones.
moved to Toronto in about 2001 and um, I, I came in the winter and so uh, I was kind of you know it was sort of whatever it's cold and it's Toronto in the winter right so I, I had this series of gigs that I, that I did for about 10 years where every spring break I was able to get away and uh, go down to the Florida Keys and play uh, two weeks worth of gigs uh, down in Key West uh, at, at, at a bunch of Irish bars these kind of big outdoor really cool bars that were just absolutely slammed with crazy people and uh, it was pretty fun uh, but at, when I was done when I was done playing gigs and we played long long gigs like on St. Patrick's Day we played for like 12 hours literally and um, I'd go to this I'd sort of wash up on the shores of this bar called the Green Parrot which was this uh, amazing bar sort of way down in the southern end the southern tip of Key West and uh, it was a uh, sort of off the beaten path but all the locals were there and um, it had a great ambiance, and one night I was there sitting at the bar, and I heard this music coming from the uh, from the stage in the corner. And I looked over, and there was this amazing Cajun band that had just kind of set up shop, and I guess they'd start to play right around midnight. And uh, honestly, it was some of the best live music I'd ever heard in my life. And I, I found myself, you know, I had a drink, and then I had a couple more, and soon it was two o'clock in the morning, and and this band was still raging, and I was just feeling better than I'd ever felt. I thought, you know, I could just stay here for the next forty years and just keel over dead at some point of a heart attack and it'd be like, you know, the greatest life ever. And uh, I, I'm not the only person in Key West who's had that idea, believe me. Um, but anyway, so I, I kind of, you know, I always remember that really fondly and uh, that inspired me to write this song. So here's a song called The Midnight Band, The Midnight Band. some wood, break a few eggs, we'll get a fresh start on a brand new day, write a new song, fight off the blues, open up the blinds and shut off the news, it's a party old day but I'm feeling fine, and I can make hay when the sun won't shine, so I made a few calls, I've been hatching a plan, let me tell you all about the midnight band. Straight too far. Now there's a couple more seats at the end of the bar. The PA's buzzing. Well, one, two, three. It's honky tonk in the key of the
Well, you might be right. I guess I could be wrong. But I ain't never stopped singing this old time song. And I'll learn all the words and get the tune just right. Well, they're tearing the roof off on Saturday night. Well, I can see it in your eyes, my Georgia girl. You got a heavy heart for a troubled world. But don't you worry. Come and take my hand. Let me introduce it to the Midnight Band Well, the Midnight Band, the Midnight Band Don't need nothing but a place to stand With the mic turned up I'm Drinking my hand, making music all night With the Midnight Band, the Midnight Band Up the town, down, down across the land And the sky falls in Won't give a damn, you can count my number With the Midnight Band <laughs> Well, there's a lot of things about uh, being off the road and not playing that I have not missed. But one thing I have missed is playing a show with Jason LaPrade at the Soundboard. Thank you, Jason. What a pleasure. Thank you. Um, I would like to thank uh, Lillian and all the, all the volunteers here um, for what they do. And it's so nice that we're back um, that we're back doing this again, right? And pretty soon, maybe we'll be doing it without masks on. Who knows? With fingers crossed, right? Um, I'd like to thank uh, Heather Fielding back there, who is dutifully uh, selling our merch. Um, if you're if you're anything like me, and you're, you're sort of getting bored of buying things off Jeff Bezos, um, there is an option on your way out the door. We've got shirts. We've got uh, hats. We've got. CDs. That's all we got. Um, we don't have the selection that Jeff Bezos has. But, um, anyhow, we'll, we'll be sort of milling around back there. Come say hello. We're fascinating men to speak to in person. I, I can just want to point something out though. There's nothing we have for sale that you can buy on it from Jeff Bezos. That's true. And we'll deliver it quicker. That's true. So there you go. Um, thank you guys so much. You've been a wonderful audience to play for. Uh, I have to admit, every audience we play for these days is wonderful. But you guys seem especially wonderful. <laughs> You're the most wonderful of all, all six. You're the best. Um, and uh, we're going to play one more tune, and uh, we hope to get a chance to play for you again real soon. Um, thanks so much. This is a Bill Monroe number called The Brown County Jam uh, Breakdown. Not Jamboree. Breakdown. One, two.
Let's do the 12 hour one. I have a flight to catch on Monday, so better than that. Sit down, buddy, and we'll drink and smoke. Well, it looks weak for me. Cause my hands can't fiddle and my heart's been broke. Damn old piney mountain. I lost my fingers in a gay like smell. But it's in the saddle song. And my heart got broken on a big pine hill. Lord, and my time long. Started in the locker when I was in my prime. Oh, don't you weep for me. Hitching up the screws to the big drag line. Dead old piney mountain. When the skitter starts bucking and the gears come down. But it's in the saddle song. Making God's own thunder on the new cut ground. Lord, and my tummy. We were fighting over nothing and drinking too hard. A woman looks weak for me. Riding up the camp on a flat rail car. You damn old piney mountain. Now it's 30 years of hanging on the old chain break. But it's in saddle song. I got laid off and paid off in 58. Lord, in my tummy. Lord. Now the skitter's been sold to the scrap iron yard. Woman looks weak for me. So I moved down Virginia when the times got hard. In dead old piney mountain. And I lost my fingers in a steel band saw. But it's in saddle song. Now my fiddle just hangs untuned on the wall. Lord, in my time Now it's all growing over on the logging road. Woman, don't you weep for me. And the wildflowers bloom where the big trees blow. You damn old piney mountain. And there's nothing left to do but to drink and smoke. But it's in saddle song. Cause my hands can't fiddle and my heart's been broke. Lord, in my time.